Today, I'm going to show you how I make a curry burrito so that you can make one too. So these are the ingredients that we'll be using today. The first thing we're going to do is cut up our root vegetables because these are the things that are going to go in the crock pot and they will take the longest to cook. We have about eight little potatoes, a whole bunch of little carrots, and a leftover sweet potato. vegetables I just cut and I'm gonna put it in the crock. Then once I've given those a good mix, cover them with some olive oil, grainy chicken bouillon. There's like a bouillon cube instead of cubes of powder. Put pepper on there. Then I'm gonna put some curry in. So now we got this crock pot on high. Probably about two hours. We're gonna use this whole onion. or a dozen of these little sliced mushrooms. The trick to not crying while cutting up an onion is to refrigerate it overnight so that it gets nice and cold. This will stop the onion from making you cry. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this apple, cut this very thin, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as an aid in the caramelization process with this onion. Six biggest mushrooms out, I'm just going to slice these in a little bitty bit of this. These should be the last thing to saute. You want to come to the little lines and then just cut them down the middle. I think that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so we're about an hour in on the crockpot vegetables. Oh, yeah. okay. So now we're going to now we're gonna start the caramelization process for the mushrooms, uh, onion, and apples. And a little bit of garlic. We're going to put in our apple pieces. All right, so we're getting close to just adding the onions. I did find a can of Strongbow in the basement. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in here. Yeah. Look at that. So now, we're gonna add our onions. So I'm gonna drop this from medium low to low. We're gonna add more of our chicken bouillon, more of our garlic, more curry. And add more strong bow. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add crab meat to this. To make sure all the juice goes in there. And yeah, I want the crab meat. Now I'm gonna really cook that sucker. We got a little bit of a broth going between the sweet onions and the crab. I'm also going to raise the temperature back up to like medium. So I'm going to add more curry, some Cajun seasoning to this. We'll give that a stir. We're going to introduce to the crab and onions some of our instant curry mix. Stir this up a little bit. Okay, so the camera didn't pick this up. So what I did is I added a third of the whole milk to that. Okay, so now that those caramelized onions are done, we're gonna add them to our root vegetables. So get as much of that sucker out of the pan as you can. We're also gonna switch this from high to low now. Now we're on a medium heat, because now we're cooking the shrimp mushrooms. We have a third of a pound of shrimp here. We're also going to put some curry on these, we're going to put Cajun seasoning on these. We're going to add our mushrooms, get in there, Now 
turkey shrimp are done, so I'm going to add them to this crock pot mixture and stir. Get all that in there. And now we're going to use a whole cup of milk. Chicken bouillon. Add some garlic. We're going to add one of our cubes of pistol curd. And once this gets wet, you can start to just beat up these little piles with your spatula. Okay, so now we're up to a medium low heat. As you can see, this is just starting to bubble. And as I turn it, you can start to see that we've evaporated some of those liquids coming out, right? It's a lot thicker now. Right, this is ideal. So once we get it around here, we're gonna bring it back down to low. Because now we've got a liquid, right? Now we've got a sauce going on. This is about where we want it. This is like a very nice, creamy, kind of consistency. Okay, so now I've got my crock pot stuff. I'm gonna start adding this in. So now I've got this all in here. I'm gonna stir this around. This is a beautiful kind of creamy, turmeric yellow color. I took all of this out when the crock pot was at the two hour mark. So the, the, the vegetables were roasting on their own for about an hour, and then mixed in for an hour, I put the other things that we had been cooking, like the onions and the shrimp or what have you. The way I'd recommend you testing this is either by testing a potato or a carrot. You know that everything else is really cooked here but you want your root vegetables to be soft and tender. Hmm. So that was a good carrot, and then here's a potato, right? Hmm. All right, so now we're making the beef for our, for our burritos. So we're only putting, you only need five things here, right? You need your meat, you need some oil. I got this dank ass hot sauce taco seasoning, and cumin. That's it. That's it. Just the taco seasoning. Just that shit. Alright. Third of a pound of beef. I'm just making the cut right there. Are you ready for this? Boom! Cut that shit up into little bits. You ready? Taco seasoning. We're gonna really drench that right there. Stir that up. And our hot sauce. We're gonna do that, right? It smells and looks gorgeous. And this is a good way get rid of the grease if you're self-conscious about that. Yum. Okay, so the trick to getting the tortillas right is take a tortilla, right, it's fresh, get warm water, wash your hands, right? While your hands are still wet, grab the tortilla. Get that shit wet. It's not soaked, it's just wet. You're gonna take the wet tortilla. Fifteen seconds. Mm. 
bueno. I just also wanted to take a minute to say that you don't have to eat this curry in a burrito format. Uh, the other ways I would recommend eating it would be over gnocchi, over udon, or over some little rice. So I've got a good little lock here. Shout out to these carbs. Yay, carbs. Okay, so now we're all ready to make our burrito. Um, you can start if you want to add sour cream. You can either do sour cream. I don't have any sour cream at the moment. I just have some um, blue cheese from the last time I ordered wings. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Take my spoon. Put that alongside the bottom. This is kind of like, you know, this is, uh, it's a blue cheese dressing. So it's like, I think there's a little sour cream in here. I think some blue cheese chunks. And I think there's like a lot of dill. I think it's what set these guys apart is their, their thing is they use a lot of dill. All right, so once it's all on, they're all good. I'm gonna then take my ground beef. I think I wanna use half this. All right, just like that. Once it's on there good, I'm gonna take some light cream. Just do it along the top of that. So I'm tucking it in, right? So now, watch my hands. Watch my hands. I'm gonna go in. Actually, no, hold on. Watch this, right? I'm gonna go over, right, maybe like that. I'm gonna pack it in the middle, right? So once I've got a rectangle, I'm gonna take my ends, fold them over. And then I'm going to tuck this in as much as I can, and then fold that once over. There you go. Voila! So now that we're all done making our curry burrito, I'm excited to sit here and have some of this.